Like this story is music, America's favorite kind of music. Having cleared that up, let me say there is no other word for it. It is a phenomenon, a business phenomenon, an artistic one, social, cultural, name it. And it all happens in what may be, person for person, the richest town in the country. A wonderful nowhere, a cafe, a five and dime. 3,000 and something souls in a town in the Ozarks that's a mere blip on the two-lane strip of blacktop of Route 76. And it gets 4 million visitors a year. Everybody's looking for somebody new, yeah. Slipping through the shadows with a who knows who. Branson, Missouri is the live country music capital of the universe. Somebody new. The kind of music Americans spend more time listening to than any other. So One Horse Branson has 22 theaters and some of the biggest names in country. Everybody's looking for somebody new. The coal miner's daughter, Loretta Lynn. Yeah. Oh, lady, I never seem to see you for the good times or the sunshine. The outlaw, Waylon Jennings. Mickey Gilly. Christy Lane. Mel Tillis. Boxcar Willie. And everything is beautiful in its own way. Ray Stevens and the French Fried Far Out Legion Band. And he haws hillbilly guitar picker himself, Roy Clark. I've heard figures that people come here and, uh, and spend as much as a billion and a half dollars. In this little strip. In this little strip of Branson, Missouri. It's incredible. Say it. <laughs> Say it. Billion and a, a half. billion and a half. That's several million, and then some. That's why Roy Clark will pick his way into a coma twice a day. And that's why Loretta Lynn will sing her familiar lament as many times as people want to hear it. Yeah, I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter. I remember well the well I drew water. You can stay here a month and see a different show every day. And I would sleep because we would talk. I never thought of it. You can start as early as 10 in the morning. Just listen to some of the numbers. By next spring, there'll be 27 theaters with 53,000 seats. 10,000 more seats than all of Broadway. And they expect to fill them twice a day for seven months of the year. Most tickets are under $15 a show. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Cowboys and horses, hobos and trains. Lord, I'd like to see them again. The country stars in Branson have decided to cut out all the middlemen to put their money where their guitars are, to own their own theaters. Boxcar Willie has his. Roy Clark has his. Mickey Gilly and the Foggy River Boys have theirs. So does Christy Lane, Ray Stevens, and Mo Bandy. Vertical integration, just like the oil companies. Center stage. Mel Tillis, the golden oldie, is building his oh theater. Oh, boy. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night a candle glows. He's I off the road, burned his bus behind him, and settled in for the good life in Branson, making money faster than he can count it, here in Hillbilly Heaven. It's Hillbilly Heaven without the halos and wings. <laughs> How much money can you make here? I heard a number, six million in six months. That's, that's pretty close, it's pretty close. But you have to work two shows a day and sign autographs. <laughs> Why did you come? Well, I came because it, it's a place to work, you know. 
I was on the road for 34 years. Well, my hometown's coming inside. Well, if you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it all tonight. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it all tonight. We've got about six miles of people just sitting still. Sometimes it takes them two, two and a half or three hours to get to their show. Trevor the traffic cop tends his flock of snails. Well, I pulled out of Pittsburgh, rolling down the East Sea Boy. I got my diesel wound up, she's rolling like I've never before. Well, let us speed so heavy. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight.